Welcome to day five. Uh, it's time to start lifting walls. And these are 19 foot side walls, so this should be interesting. Right there, Jake. Yep. Let's go to the next one. One more. Yep. Now take your pencil and just, if, if it's good right there, just make a line across there because we're probably going to move it a couple times. Now we got to get this back in this way. this up tight and tighten that bolt. Go ahead. Go a little more. Yep. Alright, now let's plumb it, Jake, and do that one first. Here's your hammer. You look pretty good right there. Oh. Yep.
under there, cash. Transfer that one down. put these on the end so when we put the truss in, set it in like a All little right. pocket so yeah. when it's sitting there it doesn't pop off on us. You can just use a screw too Jake, whatever. That'll give us something to set our truss in so it just doesn't accidentally fall off when we're trying to nail it in and stuff. Good that work, Cash? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. You good? Yep. Maybe just push it up. Ties and go, bring it as far this way as you can, snug it, and then one that way down this way, and then they're pulling against each other, so it should really strengthen and keep it pretty, pretty good. When we do this, like you're never gonna get, you're never gonna get every single one perfect because like they, like that one, but the most important ones that are perfect are the corners. Right. Like if this is off a time, like it doesn't matter, but the corner ones we want as close. Perfect. So if we want to put a screw in the next one up. Is that pulled? You guys already pulled that together, right? Yeah. Okay. You're not having a board, don't let me thigh anymore. <clears throat> I'll catch you if you fall again. <laughs> You want to pull all, you want to, let's see here, I can back up okay. and let that down. You can pull the lift in, unhook that, because this thing isn't going anywhere. Now we got a couple in there.
line with windows. Like on these on plans, they'll have like a window schedule that'll tell you what your rough openings are. They changed it from the plans, so I got them from what we're actually getting. So this is a list of the windows we're getting. So I've made a list of how many of each one there are, but you'll see it'll have a picture of the window, so this will help you. The first number um, is always the width. Second okay. number is the height. Picture is worth a thousand words because then you don't have to think about it. You're like, oh, that's, unless they're pretty square, then it sucks. So that's overall RO is your rough opening. So that's what the inside dimension of that frame has to be. So they basically give you a half inch because here's the actual um, dimension of the window. So they give, it's very important that we make it that because that'll give us a quarter inch on each side. So that's how you would read this. Wherever it says RO, that's the box you're making. That's what the inside dimension of that has to be. Okay. So now that we got that, so here's reference. I've already made a list for you. So, um, Jake, you've made made these with me before. So the 36 wide, that's the top and bottom. Okay, so we're going to take that number and we're going to add three inches because it's got to extend an inch and a half on each side. So now you know you need 18, 39 inches. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The 61 is going to be 61. But from that 61, you're going to start your angle. angle. So at the shortest part, it has to be 61. Yep. And then the angle just goes to whatever the three degree angle does. Does that make sense? Yep. So you can put, you need 18, 61 inch, and that's to the short side. All right, short side. Does that make sense? Yep. Um, and then so on and so forth. So we got two 36 by 48, so we need four 39 inches, 48, so we need four 48, uh, 72, so 75, right? Mm -hmm. So 12 and 75 inches, 60, I don't need 61 of those, we need 12, 61 inches, 87, 2 at 87, and 2 at 61. So you guys should double check my math. Does that make sense to everybody? So on the width, we always add 3 inches because that's going to be our overlap on each side. And then on these, we cut the on one side of each of those. Short side is the actual rough opening. Make sense? Mm-hmm. Which end will be the short side, the inside of the house or the outside of the house? The inside, so, because if you think about it, the, the long side will create your slope. So if that window ever fails, it'll hit that sill mm -hmm. and it'll go out. It's just a slight, is all we do on it. It's right. just so if that window ever fails and water hits it, instead of running down the wall and rotten everything yeah. below, it runs out over the tie back and down. Right. Um, but I would just make make one template and then, you know, so. That's it. Cool. Justin, you want to check my math, Gabe? You guys never have to feel bad about, like, if you see me do something and you don't understand it or you think I'm wrong, I don't care if you check it and question me, because I'd rather you question me and it be right than it be wrong. All right, Justin and I just got the lumber we needed for our porch framing, and we needed some a few more purlins. So we're leaving Menards now. We got the first 80-foot wall up this morning. Jake and Cash are building window boxes right now, hopefully. What do you think, Justin? You think they're gonna done? <laughs> see how many they got done when we get there. But it's going pretty good so far. Only three days of framing. And uh, we should be ready for trust this Friday. So I'm pretty pumped up about that. If I can get out of here.
hot one today, no wind here. We were at Wickard Acres and if they called for 10 mile an hour winds, it was like 30. Mm -hmm. Here, if they call for 10, it's zero apparently. But anyway, got 80 foot wall up. Guys made all the, cut all the boards for the window boxes while Justin and I ran and got lumber um, for all of our porch, uh, where our porch is gonna tie in. I like to put that on on the ground, it's just way easier. And then we threw up, um, I don't know, about 24 foot of wall to finish out the day. So tomorrow we should be able to finish this uh, wall with the garage doors, the end wall. And then Friday, if it doesn't rain, we'll be putting up trusses. Don't forget about our Patreon for uh, you self builders. Don't forget about our design services, design at mrpostframe.com. And as always, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next video.